at Ninja Spoon Master, and we're going to be making salt dough ornaments. Yes, today we're going to be making salt dough Christmas, Christmas ornaments. So for this, you I will made be... this in my school. Uh, yes, he made it in his class, and I had the idea, like, why don't we show our YouTube subscribers how to make salt dough Christmas ornaments. So, all your subscribers. So what we need, what you guys would need at home is flour, salt, um, I think the all-purpose fine salt works better. I have tried this with uh, kosher salt, um, the hardcore salt, and it didn't work out for me too well, so try this fine salt. And one cup of, just one measuring cup, um, a measuring cup, this happens to be one cup. And let's see if a good idea to put like some plastic or something down on the floor because yeah. it gets really messy. So, in class. Also, in my also. class it was stuff all over the rug. Yes, in his class it was a mess. Yes. I try to clean, help clean as much as possible but Boom. it was Baby. definitely a mess. Baby. So, once we put the cup in there, we gotta I thought like we should mix the mixture first, the flour and the salt together. And then we put a cup of water. And we actually put, it says to put um, a half a cup of water, but um, pour in the water little by little because you might not need all the water. So you just pour in the water little by little until it makes a doughy kind of thing. She but, rolled up. Um, I don't know if you do the honors of putting water in this. Okay. And I'll mix this while he's getting the water. So you want to mix the flour and the salt together. The honors. So the honors. The honors. Here you go. And uh -huh. all the way to the top. Now we have the water. We're going to pour it in a little bit at a time. And we're gonna mix it so it comes to a like a paste. Cameron, that is definitely not a little bit at a time, but now I get what you're trying to do. Um yeah. Well, I mean you might as well pour the rest in. Okay, and try to mix that up, Cameron. It looks like we might need Cameron is not the best mixer. But. If terrible is, is a word in my life. Ugh. When you yeah, okay. hello guys, hello. Hi guys, I'm the cameraman guy. My mom is mixing it. She's the best mixer, I'm not. I'm, so, I'm the cameraman. As you see, the cameraman. I'm Cameron, and my name is Cameraman. That's not roasting. Oh yeah. That cross nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a sample spray. Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Perfect. Oh. 
that's not roasting. Black Frost. Guys, I'm gonna be sick though. I'm gonna be coughing and killing. You're not even killing the thing. So I'm. Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. No, I'm just gonna crop that part out. So guys, this is an example of what not to do. So I didn't lay the um, salt dough on a cookie sheet. So from the front, um, it looks pretty good from the front. But since I didn't lay a cookie sheet, once, excuse this now, once you turn it over to the back without a cookie sheet, it's like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like really doughy and it's not really like good looking it's not smooth it's like really rough um and it's a little soft still so um the directions say that i can actually um turn this over put it back in the oven for um two more hours and this part should be i guess smooth um out a bit So right now we're painting the top of our ornament. Um, you, got, you guys are gonna see what this turns out to be when it's all done. Cameron is really taking his time on this. We can't paint over here. No, so we blocked out some spots. You probably guys can't probably see it because we painted over the ornament base white. So we can kind of like fill it in because it was that, um, tan doughy color so um i think it's a good idea to give it like a base color first and then paint over it so we'll be back with the finished product and i just wanted to point out that all of our paints are actually acrylic paints um you can get any um acrylic paint um but i feel like it works better and um it kind of like sticks to the sourdough much better and we'll be back so we're all done painting this is our really Cameron finished product um this is our Santa yep. hand prints that looks like me that looks thingy. like me yes and Cameron wanted a chocolate Santa he wanted a Santa that reflected how he looks so, I wear black Santa It don't gloves. look like chocolate. Oh, you know what I mean, like it's a black Santa. <clears throat> but this is our Santa and it's pretty cool. So, as you see, when it dries, it has a little hole here where you guys can um, put a ribbon or a string and hang it. It still has this like really ugly um, base in the back. I don't think you guys, you guys can see, um, you know, um, how it looked when it first came out of the oven. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna paint that maybe like a silver base or whatever. So like when it hangs in the tree and it turns, it doesn't have that ugly like doughy look to it. But that's about it. And my phone is ringing. <laughs> Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas.